Good evening, darlings. So, um, I've missed you. I've been trying to get myself onto Patreon. So there are already two videos up on Patreon. Uh, there is this very important video. Please go and watch it. It's still free to go and watch, I think, until Tuesday. And uh, I had... Um, I got confused because you've got Victoria Cotton creator, you've got Victoria Cotton member and when I, the first time I tried, the second day I tried to come in after trying to come on, I couldn't, um, I couldn't get in, they had an old email and then I started seeing I had these different members but yeah, because over the years I have look to join different people so you have a member account and a creator so it got i got in a panic on may the first may day may day midi help me that was on wednesday last wednesday and i think i have deleted it's quite complicated to delete on patreon and now i'm waiting for one month to see if i've actually deleted my main account or not so I'm just playing around for the first month, putting up information. I'd wanted to do a live today, but in the end, it, the live goes through YouTube, and I've never done a live on YouTube on my own, what we did in the old days with Jacob. But anyway, let's not go there. I'm just bringing out information, but you need to catch up, because I did a very important video about the bear paw before I realized that there's bear stuff going on all over internet somebody threw something on my timeline saying what's going on with bears and I had just picked up with this martyr and this series going on called the little reindeer on Netflix because uh, people in my village uh, they they played around a joke saying that martyr was coming to the local pub after we had Elvis for the um, for the eclipse, they had an Elvis there, and then they had Marta coming. So I went to go and look up who it was, and so a look, you have to go and see the baby reindeer is a stalker and a manhunter. La Marianne is being risen. Grace Notre Dame fell, and five years later, eighth of December, twenty twenty four, on the dark side of the Black Star, Madonna back to black is here. For Mary to Martha. What is the spiritual meaning of Martha? Martha can also be said to represent the material consciousness and Mary the spiritual. So when she's good, she's very, very good. And when she's bad, she's horrid. Those are the two sides of this Virgo consciousness. consciousness. That's why we've got Back to Black. That's why we've got Amy Winehouse aim the soul the flesh am in french from the grape to the spirit from corona to victoria virgo pisces and that is where the north south and north node are currently so please come and read this we've got right now this asteroid also known as a planet uh, right here next to about to enter the virgo so it will be there for it will be there for the rising of the new notre dame we're going to have this stalker woman that was what misery was all about uh it's this new woman and today we've got the moon and mars conjunct in pisces and venus and the sun conjunct in Aries. So Jupiter rules Pisces and Jupiter is now in Taurus, the Me Too bully, the new uh, Diana died, the in Dianes were killed by the cowboys, the hunters, she was killed, she's the deer, she was hunted, it's the deer hunter. And that is what I've been trying to explain to you for all these years. Here you've got Mars and the moon, and you've got the sun in the stag, uh, which is the deer. So the deer is made masculine, it's made into a bear, it's made into <coughs> the bully. 
So the sun and Venus, Venus rules Taurus and the moon and Mars. And that is exactly what we've got today. And today is the five, five. So five and five is the 10, it's the X. And we've got, um, we've got Macron and the, this is what everything that I cover in that last video, please go and watch it because I, um, I can't keep up. Otherwise you have to go and see this video here. So this is the glyph to this asteroid to this, and it's like the crown. It's the bear paw all about the arrival of the president xi jinping and macron and i cover their charts i probably don't go in deep enough but as always i've got so much to cover but um macron is born on the winter solstice the 21st of the 12 1977 so 7-7 is the one one it's the two corners and 1977 is when we discovered chiron and we're at chiron's last uh so chiron is currently next to mercury and chiron is going to enter aries where chiron was when he was discovered so macron i've got them all here macron i call him macaron uh, old MacDonald, Macca, uh, it's uh, Mac, it's from the, well, he's the pimp, Mac is the pimp, it's the, the, um, uh, the, the mi micro and the macro. So everything is about the container and what's in to be contained. It's that hourglass, it's the holy grail. It's the curve of the female body. It makes that X. And we are right now, uh, one day I hope to be able to properly talk to Lars and to see, to, to have Lars back for chats. And But uh, Lars is busy writing his book, but he did show me and he will show you that. But he has technically worked out by going to the beginning of time to now in his recent work that we are at that yoni the vagina we are at the vesica pieces passage the x of her so that is the vase uh, the continent and the contains so the seven sevens yep yeah, i'll get to that in a minute so macron old mcdonald so it really is the big between the uh, french elections and the american e elections between Mac and Donald, old, old MacDonald had a farm. And this last video you must go and watch is showing you that Macron and the Chinese president are coming right in front of me on this line to the Peak de Midi that I keep telling you about where I am. They're coming tomorrow, the 6th and the 7th. The 6th and the 7th, they're arriving on the 7th. So the 7th. Uh, and then on the 8th, we've got the new moon. We've got the new moon. So 8 and 5 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, is 13. And 6 and 7 is 13. And I'm, I'm going to go more into that. But you see Macron, he's got his Chiron in Aries. So Chiron cycle, he's born in 1977 on the 21st of December. And he is born with a huge amount of um, detriment and fall. He's got his Mercury in Sagittarius. He's got the ruler of Sagittarius, Jupiter in Gemini, mutual detriment. And in this absolute angle here between Scorpio and Sagittarius, where they're rising this 13th sign. And then here between Gemini and Taurus, so we've got the Golden Gate, the Silver Gate. He's got this Hunter Stalker, the Hunter Stalker, and he's got this Moon in Aries energy, this Moon in Aries, this Saint Hubert, this Saint Hubert, the Moon, Mars, Moon and Mars. And this is what 
we have today. So the moon has now moved over here, but at the beginning of the day, at the beginning of the day, we had moon and Mars completely conjunct. Moon and Mars right on the tail. And here's Mercury next to North Node and Chiron. And on the other side, so we've got Venus and the Sun. And that Venus is only going to get closer over the next few days. And we've now got Jupiter officially in Taurus. If you go to see the first video I did about the month of May, on Patreon, I go into detail about the importance of this new cycle, Jupiter and Uranus. The last time they began again in Taurus was in 1856. So this is a whole new flip-flop of this cycle. And we have this energy, this energy of the flip-flop of the, you know, merging Mars with the moon. The anima and the animas, the, the Mars and Venus is represented by 69 and 69 makes 15, the devil cards. It's the masculine, the feminine. So for every man, his anima, Venus and the, uh, yeah, Venus and the moon. The moon and Venus should work together and for every woman, her animus Mars and the Sun working together for that male energy but now we've got as you see the hunter we've now got the moon and Mars and we've got Venus and the Sun which is exactly what we've got going on before this new moon in Aries so the last month it was in Pisces we had Mercury retrograde and we had the um we had the eclipse on the 8th of april so now we're coming up for the 8th of may and we have a birthing we have a birthing and we have got we've got so please go and watch the other video see he's got saturn in uh leo and this is where if i put the transitions we've got this asteroid now just before entering Virgo so probably be there for the Olympics from the you know this the lion is also the bear and at the moment this hunter stalker is at the last degree of Leo and that is always the most powerful and probably why they're all talking about bears it's at 27 degrees uh, he's got it at 27 degrees of Taurus and currently it's at 25 Leo. So he's gonna have a an, he's gonna have a square to his hunter stalker. And this is the whole thing about his wife. You know, look, he's got moon like Prince Charles, he's got moon in um Aries, and his wife has got a very similar car the chart to uh the wife has got uh, Mars, she's got all this Aries, she's got, um, she's got, I think she's just got Jupiter in Taurus, uh, and she's got Mars and the Sun, and she's got Venus exactly where Venus is now, and she's got her moon in Pisces. But, you know, she was playing out this role of this new woman, he is the new man energy, and she is the new predator woman energy. Uh, we spoke about Salome in that video, Salome who decapitated St. John. St. John. So Luke, Taurus, John, Scorpio. John is decapitated by Salome, taking away the fertility gate. She takes away her own fertility. And uh, then we've got Mark and Matthew, which is... Oh. Then we've got Mark and Matthew, which is just Leo and Aquarius. So Matthew, Aquarius and Mark 
Just um, without seeing the animals, we got without seeing the animals. So we've got and Jesus always in the middle. And now in the world card of tarot, the world card of tarot twenty one. This is what I cover in uh, worlds, and it's thirty two. This is really important. It says this is why they're coming here. It's the Tav. Here we go. So look, the letter Tav, 32, in the Tree of Life. And there you've got the, they've got the Virgo girl now. So it's the switch between Jesus and Virgo. So Virgo is next to Leo. And this is the Whore of Babylon. And originally it's Jesus in this passage so the fifth element is always for the fifth element. So Matthew is Aquarius, Mark is Leo, Luke is Taurus, and John is the Eagle. Salome kills Scorpio and we're back at that time where Luke, Luke is risen, the Me Too bully. So I did a video not long ago where I was talking about Vulcan and Pan. So Vulcan, I, had, I couldn't, in my last video I was getting confused. So Vulcan is the god of fire and blacksmith and iron is given to Virgo. So Virgo's primary word is considered Mercury. Um, that said, the rulership of Virgo is complicated because the sign's true ruler, a planet thought to be Vulcan, was never discovered. Vulcan was the Roman god of volcanoes, metalwork and conflagrations and would walk with a limp. Able to constructively channel fire, he would forge metal and jewels with his powers. So this was from Linda Goodman's book and... Um, load more comments i put them in the comments so and pan horus ceres uh venus is the ancient ruler of taurus and is lending the sign its guidance till its ruler is discovered according to some a planet called pan horus which is yet to be discovered is the true ruler of taurus so this is beltane this is the green man this is Saranus. uh this is bacchus this is the connection between that galactic gap the galactic gap, GG, we are currently at the 50 years of G7, which is going to be in the Austrian, I think it's in the Austrian mountains coming up. Is it going to be for Pentecost around the 19th of May, um, G7? G7 mountains. Uh, what, what, no, G7... 2024 so june so it's going to be just before the 50th in the city of fasano in apulia so it, where is this okay it's right on the last leg it's right on the puss in boots it's on the boots it's right here in italy so that will be something to be going into closer to the dates. So back to this. Um, the ruler of shepherds, Pan Horus, is in, is in competition, though, because many believe Earth or the goddess of fertility and agriculture, Ceres, to rule Taurus. It is quite possible that Ceres, the goddess, so this is what I showed you as well in between Aries and Pisces. Uh, you've got that gap, you've got that 14th sign, Ceres, that they're bringing up. And in between, um, in between Scorpio and Sagittarius, we've got Ophucius, the 13th sign. The 13th and the 14th sign is exactly where Jesus holds his hands on the cross uh, with his two feet closed, the sun and the moon in Leo. So... They're saying that Pan is the same thing as, you know, it's, it's the Pan or Horus or Ceres. 
You know, Setus, yeah, not to get confused. Setus is the is the ruler they're giving to the 14th sign to close the wheel. Yeah, so Ceres to Taurus. Ceres um, is, of course, one of those female asteroids as well. Um, you've got Ceres, Pallas, uh, Vesta, um, and Ceres. Ceres. Ceres, where is she? Where is Ceres? Here's Ceres. Uh, you've got Vesta. Here's Vesta. You've got Pallas and Juno. So those are the four lost parts of the female, and Black Lilith is something different. So Terus, Terius, Therius. With respect to Therius the hunter, as far as I'm concerned, the bear did not ask for this malice towards him. So this is, um, I remember I did a video about Therius in, during COVID in 2021. So this is the stalker and this is why they've got this series out. So Gad is what kills, is the, the, the word Gad, the meaning of Gads. Richard, that's the Lionheart, that's where the hunter is now in Leo. It's killing the brave Lionheart and bringing up the whore of Babylon. So a stinger, a sting, the spike. So that's the sting, Scorpio. Scorpio is Europe. It's the, it's the, it's the killing Europe. She's killing the, their own. So a person who possesses little or no social skills. They are bigoted and prone to aggressive outbursts and tantrums. So this is your Richard Gad in the series. Perhaps a nickname from old French gade goats. The animal was voted for its supposedly luxurious behavior. Gad is a surname noted with the Anthony Gad. Gad meaning. So we got goat in there. Goad Gad. So killing the goat Capricorn. True energy of Pan. Pan should be from Capricorn and this hunter. So, you know, Armatis Virgo was a hunter before she was made into a little virgin wife. And now she's coming back to the Lara Croft energy, which is what I've been talking about for years. So, we're at exactly five years. Today is the 5 5, the two directions of the north-south nodes, north-south nodes, north-south node, the sun and the moon, the how wow, five O, oh. and you've got always this little five, the five inclination, five, oh, we need a better picture than that, we need a better picture. Sun, the moon's path, the X, the orbit of the moon crosses. You've got the double X, the north and the south node, and there is five degrees. There's five tiny degrees between their passage. So five, five, how wow, the swastika, the two sides, the bear, the bear is the polaris. That's why they're coming to the north star here. The peak de midi is the polaris. That's why my village is in the shape of the five-pointed star. Venus makes a five-pointed star every eight years. That's why my dog, Appy, was killed. The B, the P, Ab, Abby, Appy, and the PB is Ponce Brooks, the, um, uh, the comet that we have right now. We have right now the comets... The comet is on, and so what date is this here? 5-5. Five, five. Now, why can't I? Comets, Ponce Brooks is here, right in between, right in this place between Taurus where the sun will be and it only moves closer for this new moon on the 8th. It's going to be right on the wand of Merlin. That is your PB. 
And before I forget, that's what I wanted to read you. Uh, this is just something I fell upon in Linda Goodman's book, Star Signs. So regarding <coughs> six nine, regarding six nine, here we go so the number six symbolizes venus love woman the number nine symbolizes mars conflict man when the number six is added to the number nine conflict is destroyed and love is victorious together the six and the nine equal 15 so there's your 15 uh what's this oops let's uh just bring this down there is your 15. It's your 15 on each on this 15 degrees Scorpio, 15 degrees Aquarius, 15 degrees Leo, 15 degrees Taurus. So on the fixed cross, well, you've always got in the middle of every 30 degrees, you've got the 15th. And that is your Beltane. And if you look, this picture of Lars... see here the four crucifixions and the upcoming fake one so here we've got libra made feminine this is we've got virgo we've got venus and mercury virgo made that was at the time we were covering all the time you've got at trafalgar square you've had the red blue and the black bringing in the black madonna so you've got the four fixed and now the girl in the middle the world, you've got the girl when it's, when we should have Jesus in the middle. So you've got that 15 right in the middle, the 15 and the five and the one makes six and six and nine makes 15 and 15 is the devil card. So what I learned when I went to do this tarot symbol course, I learned that the first card is the devil it's the first card um it's when you're able to see so in french we should put au fond du bassin fond du valet où se loge les secrets du diable when you can see the deep states when you can see the deep states see the deep state this i love this old picture of lars as well i was looking today when you can see the deep state, you can get to the high state. But first, you've got to see the deep state. The transit from one age, from one era, from one aeon are being played out so well that 95% of humanity have no clue of the high state. The deep state and life on Earth are mirrored from the high state. Everything will always have its opposite energy. So, you know, most people don't make it past so you see on mainstream astrology so um we've got today may so may uh, mainstream has got between taurus and gemini the first of may the true first of may we know that we've got the sun still in Aries on the Cardinal Cross. Look, I could blow it up here. So black for the public, red for the elites. And um, so now May, the public, we're in May. So what, why does he say... The black month circle of for the public but today we're the 5th of may right so right okay we've got a black and a red color here okay yeah that makes sense so here uh the public have got their first of may five we've just got we're gonna have the sun the sun here between the Taurus and Gemini, between this gap, between this gap right here. The sun is still in Aries. 
<clears throat> so when the number six is added to the number nine, we've got we've done that. They, the, conflict is destroyed and love is victorious. Together, the six and the nine equal fifteen. And when the one and the five are added together, they equal six again. Venus, love, love is all. In any confrontation between Venus and Mars, Venus wins in the final outcome. It cannot be otherwise under universal law. This is surely a most reassuring cosmic code from our creator. So she does, um, it's, it's good. And it brings us all back to the Philosopher's Stone, which is what's going on now. So this six and this nine, in this course I did, they, she makes the first card, that devil card, 15 and 1 and 5 is 6 and that is the container the continue so the 6 and the 9 is the vase of that holy grail 6 and the 9 is as above so below uh, and then the second card we were taught is if you take 6 so from 1 and 5 you get 6 and if you add 1 to 6 you get 7 so a yin source de l'obscurité. Um, so seven is also the one. So tomorrow is the 6th of May and the day after is the 7th. We've got this six to the seven and that is also the six and the seventh seal, which I'm going to be taking you to see. And six and seven makes 13. And then we've got the new moon on the eight five. So this is so... This is so intense, what we're living now. A whole new cycle. The Jupiter-Uranus was conjunction was in Aries on the 20th of April. Now we've got Jupiter that has come into Taurus. Uranus is on his way. They are conjunct every 14 years. They were last conjunct for our generation in 1968. 68 to 69. The moon landing... Apollo, um, you know, that's why this is all about bringing in the moon, a man on the moon. Uh, we've got Toulouse, where I am, it's going to be the new central space. All the space is going to be here. This is this merging with China and France. Um, and we've got, so let's go back to... Let's go back to today. So look at this lineup. Look at this lineup. So Mars rules Aries and Mars is conjunct, is conjunct to the moon today in Pisces. So you may have noticed some anger, that kind of anger, the toxic side of men who are still not aware of their female moon star monster energy you know, that monster is if we look at the hebrew letters images so when you look at the hebrew letters we've got the aleph we've got the uh where is the one that looks like the monster so the vav three of those vav vavs five 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 v v v is the monster so five five hawaii the two directions and the five oh we've got the g7 in the last leg in italy and those looks like that little glyph of the hunter there's the vav the one or the seven and the six the six and the seven see it better here so uh, okay so five is a six is vav so six 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 is the monster drink one 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 that you see and it's also the seven 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 which makes 21 so we saw what happened, uh, we saw, we've covered in the last videos, we had that date, the 24th, um, the 24th of, and we had the 42 in the middle of the 4th of April, 2024, made 666. 
Um, so that was that Vav Vav, and it's about this 21, the tarot, and it makes 32, the earth. So 32 is the elements, elements 32, element 32 is germanium germ so i live in the gers the germs and this is the name of the grandmother so tomorrow he's taking his grandmother lived in the pyrenees so matt can't goes to this place please go and watch my last video for all that i will put these those videos i'm still working out how i function i'm finding it very complicated right now because I just want to bring you information and I'm I'm not enjoying this Patreon experience. We'll see what happens, but um you know, all I want to do is do readings. So I'm happy to give out all my time if I get readings coming in. Patreon is just a good way to keep a, a secure income. Um so I have to work out what I put onto Patreon so that I'm able to give you guys my information in a flow and without making my life even more complicated because there's no point in making my life more complicated um so look we've got an e there as well so we've got today the fifth tomorrow the sixth and then the seventh and then we've got chat so we've got the vav tomorrow and the zayin and the Zion in, is the chariot. It is the chariot in the tarot. And the seven. Seven is the philosopher's stone. So the Vav, the Zion on the seventh is the philosopher's stone. It makes the star of David. Um, I'm just looking at my messy notes here. I don't have my proper big notes. I haven't, you know, I'm just jumping from one thing to another here. But it's the Vav. Is that what we got here? We got, so six is the Vav, the Philosopher's Stone, and seven is the Chariot. So tomorrow, the six is that Vav. And it's the card... It's the sixth card. It's the axe. She says it's the axe of the vertical. Well, that's everything that's happening. That's what they're doing. Go and see my last video. They're making slightly northeast when on the meridian line, the direct line is zero, but they're making instead of the northwest, they're making it northeast. So if you come and see, that's the video I did on May Day. I just did... Uh, and I should, I'm experimenting showing my face using Zoom. I'm going to have to get myself a webcam or whatever they're called. Uh, so this is about them coming in the Pyrenees. So And they've got orange. It's normally red. They've got the orange coming in. So there is Pete de Midi right in front of me. But they're not going to be right in. So the 6th and the 7th. This is all I'm going to show you in a minute. All the pictures that I've set up for this video to show you so that you can fully get and I'm going to be showing you the pictures and that's about the A13 the A13, A14 so this is what I wanted to show you now um, this shows the summer solstice on the 22nd and we see uh, we see the south and the north so north the north right on the wand of Merlin between Taurus and Gemini, we see that the sun, that is for this year, the 2024. And you see that you've got the west is the northern summer solstice hemisphere. The east is the southern solstice hemisphere. So they're making north the equinox so the north spring equinox is now in pisces soon to be in aquarius and the equinox south is between virgo and leo so now the north the first sign we're now officially on the morning of the 21st 
the sun is in Taurus and they're coming to make this north east north east uh, connection instead of northwest to make that last leg to make that last 90 angle and to crown to crown the dark side of the Madonna in the middle the letter tab meaning the mark the sign so the Aleph and the tab here we are and there she is in the middle so you see she's showing it's the 69 it's the yin and the yang this is the philosopher's stone it's this is the world it's coming in between it's making this passage and it's all just in your brain so here you see uh for the summer solstice the gap between we've got um the summer solstice is on the mutable cross but we've now got um just the beginning in taurus and taurus is fully in um is over new zealand the new virgin the new islands the new keeper of the four corners so i wrote um today someone questioning on my videos the positions of the four corners for the sun solstice here you see that the 21 6 16 is the p 2 is the b p b is the 69 p is the 9 b is the 6 ponce brooks paddy bear so it's always the yin yang is the center of that polaris it's always about the keeper of the four corners BPPB North Saltis Hemisphere North Saltis Summer Winter Hemisphere is currently the West Way Europe Europe in the sign of Gemini Taurus and Southern Hemisphere Saltis is now East Sagittarius Scorpio the zero degree North is on the Equinox Pisces and the 180 South Equinox is Virgo so we're hovering between the Gemini Sagittarius tropics and entering the Taurus Scorpio tropics. Sun Sun is currently on the wand of Merlin, Orion, Sirius, Persian keeper of the four corners, all for one and one for all. Between Taurus Gemini on the West Way, we're being trapped in the galactic gap between the mutable and fixed signs as we leave the mutable cross. The fixed signs are sacrificed so the mutable and cardinal signs may merge artificially. And that is what we have in this image here. So very much Macron with his wife, um, with his wife, the older woman, Jupiter with Capricorn, yellow and black, the bee, and on the, um, on the Ukraine merging Pisces and Aries and today we've got Mars that was conjunct to the moon in Pisces and Virgo and Libra La Marianne on the east and at the feet um, Gemini and Cancer giving to the child the Cali bringing up the youth the children and at the top Jupiter and Capricorn Sagittarius and Capricorn so the true closing we see here and they're coming now they're coming now to put on this west way so crucifying in the gap Taurus the story so this is your story of Luke and John Scorpio Luke Taurus uh, Matthew and Mark, is it? I oh, don't get confused again. Matthew and Mark. So, yeah, Mark, Leo, and Matthew, Aquarius. So, the true closing should be Aquarius and Capricorn. So, you see. When we see the Jesus, we've got, 
we've got this um, the gap of setus so the arms of Jesus coming up setus and ophukius setus ophukius here and the feet closing in mercury mercury ruling here and that would be Jupiter yeah well I'm not going to go off on one here but this is the incorrect and crucified in the gaps we've got the fixed cross these are some pictures I prepared 6 and 7 76 67 13 a1 so uh we'll come to that's the auto so a is the first is one and 13 one and three is four 14 pieces of osiris few picks for me to gather thoughts chinese president x one jing to, is due to make a state visit to france on may the 6th and the 7th paris announced on monday new moon eight five eight and five is 13 so you've got the double 13 mm or 13 13 so one and three makes the b brigitte bardo is 88 years old uh i wonder if she's not going to be the big something will happen to her as i've said for a while so mark six seven thirteen a life on a mission basically this whole bear thing is for the north star and that's why we've got a whole thing about bears in the pyrenees and they're going to the pyrenees bears have been released into the pyrenees and you've just got this is jesus in the middle it's the four evangelists it's that 15 15 15 one and one and five is six it's the six and the six is the nine it's always the yin and the yang the six and the nine and the bp it makes the bp so here we go and there it shows you so the five six fifty six as well we've got ponts brooks ponts brooks on the six the ten and the six the war began on the night of the 6th to the 7th of October in Amas for Gaza and that's also the 1 and the 6 and that is the devil the 1 and the 5 makes the 6 and the 6 and the 1 the 6 and the 1 makes the 7 so then that's on the 7th we're coming up to this new moon this is the galactic gap so they are coming over you saw that image this is that they're, they're coming to this they're coming so if they're coming now just before the summer solstice so they're, they're coming now but the sun is still in aries so you see this is this is the new the, it's a birth it's a new birth we've had now we've got the sun in mars it's all about mars and jupiter mars rules aries jupiter rules pisces and mars the ruler has got this energy of the moon today tomorrow the moon is going to move moon so that we're going to have the new moon in Aries. Six. So we're going to have for the seven, we're going to have the moon conjunct Venus. And then on the eighth. And then on the eighth new moon in Aries. And Uranus is going to enter Taurus, not with it's not entering until the end of may the 29th of may so jupiter the ruler and we've still got this intensity between the isis the moon is exalted in taurus venus is the ruler of taurus um and mars Mars is, you know, the moon rules cancer. 
So when Mars and the Moon are together, it's the energy of the Mars in debt, in fall, in Cancer. The Mars is exalted in Capricorn, in the home of Saturn. So mixing the Mars and the Moon is really the the, the darker side of the the unconscious feminine and Venus and the Sun. So when are Venus and the Sun? And uh, Venus is in detriment in Aries and Venus rules where Jupiter is and Jupiter rules where Mars and the Moon is. So if we go back to today, 5-5. Five, five. So Mars and the Moon, Jupiter in Taurus, fixed ruler of where the Mars and Moon is, Mars the ruler of where the Sun and Venus is, and Venus the ruler of Taurus where Jupiter is. And Uranus uh, considered the new ruler of Aquarius, and this is not Saturn, will always be the ruler, but Uranus is attributed to that unpredictable nervous energy of um, unpredictable, sudden changes, revolutionary energy of Aquarius. So with that Uranus still in Aries and Saturn at home, bringing out the worst side of Mars with the Moon and Mars, you know, in this incredibly unpredictable Pisces. So all that I cover in my other videos, I'm not going to do that now. We're going to look at these pictures. So you can see we've got the south node, the tail in Virgo, Mercury rules Virgo, and Mercury is right on the head of the snake, coming up on that V for victory with Chiron's last before Chiron enters Aries. And this stalker is, he was, um, the stalker is now in Leo, and for our generation, that's what I cover in my old video, he was just in between Aquarius and Pisces, about to enter, um, and now he's just about to enter Virgo, and when we were born, he was in Aquarius, just about to enter Pisces. So he's bang opposite as well, and he is the hunter, the stalker, bringing in this whore of Babylon energy. And as he enters Virgo, we have got Chiron that enters Aries. So it's all working with the Senator, the Senator energy, but I would reckon that the energy, if you've had your time to heal, he was only discovered in 77. And if that cycle of, from Macaron's birth to now, he's born on the winter solstice, and what now he's, coming for the summer solstice, uh, well, this before the summer solstice, but he's coming to crown. Uh, you'll see in my last video, I covered the longitude latitude, you see how it's just northeast. But bringing up this hunter woman, this energy of this Mart, who's the opposite of the gentle Mary, it's the Elizabeth, it's the Macbeth line, it's the Eliza Macbeth, the Liza Minnelli, the Mona Liza, the hormonal Mona Liza. Okay, let's finish going through these pictures. So the opening of the seven seals, six and one. So 32. Thirty-two. And this is six barriers, plein voie, for 210 kilos. So they've blocked the motorway, uh, A13. A13 blockage, this is what I covered in the last video. Uh, A13 blockage, Paris, Caen. So Caen is where D-Day, it's the... So when is this? Well, this is that was in February. No, we want now. 
A13, A13 blockage, blockage May 2024. So it's not going to, it didn't open on May the 1st. Closed between Paris and Normandy. The section should not reopen on May the So they've closed one side of the motorway. Large cracks on the road. So this is your crack in coming in. Um, it's your crack in. So you've got, so they've got it. You can go um, towards Paris, but you can't go back the other way. And so it's 210, there's your 21 and the six. So 15, the four corners, 15, 15, 15, 15, makes six. That is the tarot cards. So 15, 15, 15, 15, it's the six, six and the 21 in the middle, the yin yang and the Ponce Brooks Comet. Devil's Comet is on the Wand of Merlin for the new moon in Aries. And you've got this last little bit of that motorway. You've got the two directions. You've got the A14 and the A13. You've got the Setus and the Ophucius. Setus A14 closure and the A13, the Setus closure. And Concon -Con is the Can Can, Toulouse Turek. You've got the Moulin Rouge, they've got the wheel, the four corners, the wheel fell, we covered in last videos. And Tintin is Jupiter. And Can Can, Con Can. It's the it's the, the Palme d'Or of Can. So yeah, it's all it's life in a tin can. So there's Salome taking the head of John of Tor of of um of John Scorpio. So she's actually taking her own fertility, but it's always the swap. So it's the same in this story. She explains that there is a diff another King Turn and his energy is not that different. He rapes his sister in law in a secluded place and cuts her tongue out. Um, so it's a little bit like with P Salome, it's her, it's her father-in-law, the story, the sister-in-law. It's like, it's Pegasus beheads Medusa and then Medusa beheads Pegasus. It's Mars and Venus, Mars and Venus, one and the other, mixing the anima, the animus from the moon and Mars to the correct moon and venus and the sun and mars correct to now sun and venus this flip-flop of the anima and the animus which so i've explained in on the, on the cross the cardinal and fixed cross is mars and venus sun and moon and it's only the mutable cross that is jupiter and mercury energy jupiter wants to get his place by crucifying the fixed cross and merging himself with the cardinal signs. So why do they do that? I noticed I put this only friends can see these pictures. So we're going backwards now. So again, the PB, the dustbin, Jack in the box coming out of the boo bell, the box. This is the cross when it's closed. You get Pierre, Paul, Pierre is the stone, Paul is the spine, it's the orb and the, 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 the Gabrielle holds just like the queen, just like the king, he holds the head and the spine, he holds the spectre, the spine and the orb and they've got in the news today, Titan, again, they've got the Titan uh, sunk, in the news, it was in the news today, I think, actually, I posted, I posted some pictures of that, yeah, oh yeah, look at this is the papers today, cheese, it's all the cheese, the moon, RR cheese, the FIFA fertility in danger, so there was a big match today at Toulouse, 
So in the stadium, full like an egg should attack with fire the Harlequins for Jouy in the final of the, the European Cup. So there was a rugby match, the Harlequin. The Harlequin is what you get between the two crosses. It's the rhombus. It's what Diana and Dodie make. There's your rhombus. There's your rhombus. It's the rhombus. Oh, rhombus. The rhombus, okay. So the rhombus, what is a rhombus? And that is just the four corners. That is the four corners. That is your four evangelists. There they are in that triangle between the two X's, between the four corners. The cross is this diamond. So you've got the Harlequins playing today. I actually opened all that today. So the Harlequins, we had the right to lose. So they lost. Violent clash against Dupont. So the bridge, that's what I was explaining. The Ponce, the Ponce is in the brain. Ponce, Medulla. Ponce Brooks, PB. There's your Ponce. It's the bird. It's the medulla, the spine, the stone, the pierre. And the pull, the pole, the stone and the spine. It's all about this bird. It's, it's, it's very simple. It's just explaining it that it's complicated. But it's all really simple. So there you've got the PB, the red and the blue of the torso fields. And the green shift, red shift, blue shift, lead. The element lead, BP. The elements, elements um, of lead elements is 82 PB. Okay, so BP, the green man, this is what they're bringing up. The Ponce Brooks Comet is right now, is right now on the Wand of Merlin, properly on the Wand of Merlin for the, for the new moon on the 8th. And there is Jesus in the middle, the four corners. It's just your fifth element, but they are rising. That was at your last G7 and the Black Madonna. And we're now at the 5-0. This was a special painting. You've got red, blue and gold and black. Red, blue, gold. Red, blue, gold and black. No, and I'm not going to get you, get, let's not get lost in the, that, well, there, that's exactly what I wanted to show you. The red, blue, gold and black. So they put gold and black at the top. That was interesting. The blue, red and white, Charles, Brigitte, and uh, so you've got Jupiter on each side of Mars that rules Libra and Aries and air. You got air and water, red and white and blue, spiker. So, so his mother's called Manette. Manette, this is the grandmother of Macron. She was called Germaine Manette. Manette Germain, there was a Germain in there as well. So here they are. This takes place on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations between France and China. So, oh, look, his maternal grandmother, Germain Nugus. There's the Germain. So why do they call her Manette? And they're coming to Bagner Bigor, which is BB, and Bagner Bigor. No, she lived in Bagnell Beagle, but they're coming to this other place, which I cover in the last video. So it's all about finding the four corners and the fifth consciousness. The fifth, the wheel will go from four, 12 times 30 to make 360 to five times 72 to make 360. The five pointed star, the North Polaris. 
So Jesus has his hands between this axis, this axis of Pisces and Scorpio here, Setus and Ophucius and his feet in the closing when the true kingdom is Aquarius and Capricorn. It's Aquarius and Capricorn, but they close between the 13th sign, Setus, and the 14th sign, uh, but, uh, sorry, 14th here and 13th here. And that's what we have with the motorway. They've shut the motorway going in the other direction um, back to Caen, to Tin, Tin, Jupiter, Tin, Tin, Caen, Caen, Can, Can, life in a tin can. There is the Ponce Brooks. It's the elephant, the elephant as the crown. They're crowning the hierophant. The, the, the hierophant is the fifth card. It's the five. It's the fake tarot, fifth, the hierophant, V, images. And this is the elephant. He is the keeper of the four corners. The Cairo. He closes the five here. The Hierophant, which is also an elephant. This is Sirius. This is Sirius. There's the elephant. This is the back of your brain. He's wearing the crown. So the glyph of this hunter... The glyph, the glyph is very much like that monster. They've got the three and the crown. This is their crowning, the hunter, Leo. We've got the glyph right now when 1968 generation is X marks the spot. And this hunter glyph was in, uh, was in, um, was on former halts for when we were born and then it moved from Aquarius uh, from Aquarius into Pisces which is exactly what this glyph is doing right now the Therius it's going in from it's going now in the opposite from Richard Gad into Mart bringing up the dark side of Virgo so um that was the Netflix review. So yeah, that was something interesting. Rare Roman discovery found in Carlisle. A rare archaeological Carlisle Rome purple, the Tyrian purple, paint pigment. So purple rain, purple is that mixture of red and blue, the true. And again, it's got something to do with Hadrian's Wall, where we had the sycamore. Tyrian Tyre five six seven the kings of the emperors of the brother Alexander the Great Cleopatra So six 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 is the same thing as that crown it's that one 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 of the Hebrew letters so much open now so the vav the 666 is that crown it looks like the vav what we have and that patreon okay so now I can't find my patreon that the vav okay vav six 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 so this is the philosopher's stone we're at that passage right now that's why they brought up the titan and that's what i was showing you in these pictures here yeah so look la vie d'un fromage c'est la guerre du lait the war of milk and we've got mars and the moon conjunct today what does the matador say to with the bull the matador says ole 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 is oh milk oh milk and look what he says here ole ole 
the editorial to laugh. He says, ole, ole. With these cows, Shakra gets a different taste. So it's all ole. This is the, this is the matador and the cow. The matador and the cow. The matador and the cow. And Ponce Brooks is right here. We had the moon and Mars conjunct today. So it's, as I say, the news is always astrology. Okay, that will be, so there, Titan, there he is, that, that sunk, five people killed. It's the Philosopher's Stone at the front. It's Solomon's seal. Solomon's seal, Titan sunk. This is all go back through all my old videos I showed you. So it's the Solomon seal. It's the Philosopher's Stone. This is it. The Star of David's. And this is what the front of um, the Titan. The front, it's the, I've showed you. They brought up, they brought up, so, um, brought up seal stuck so these are the seven the six and the seventh seal we're at the six and the seventh seal we're at the six and the seventh seal that is and we can see these pictures here if they let me go so there you see they've got they're bringing in this new girl that was for gucci the g g7 gg is 77 seven, 1977 the birth of macron the jack in the box the cross is this is the art uh, and here is the number 32 it's the north polaris everything it's all very so we had last year was the 76th festival of Cannes, and we had the seven minute ovation for jean de barry boaz and jackin all with that lunar energy and nine minutes for killers of the flower moon the fertility there's Mr. Bean, that's Jack on the beanstalk, and he's showing you his thumb, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. And he's showing you that last angle, the 90 degree. So, Liberty and Glory, LG, L is just the seven, and they're bringing up Lord Gruffalo. The Gruffalo, the bear, the beast, the stalker, the hunter. So they celebrated for Beltane, the green man, and Taurus is going to be given Pan. Pan, so Pan, Serranus, Bacchus. Jupiter is the 24-42, that makes six, six. Six is the six nine, and there is that mixture. You've got the blue star here. So, God, uh, it's just the passage, and the three seven seven three three is just that L L the seventy seven in the middle, L seven, back to front. It's your cornerstone this is the cornerstone the cornerstone is the vesica pieces passage it is the 73 37 and this it's all for this stone the ponce and the stone that elephant that little goblin that's why in that's why in um in uh what she called um Amélie Poulain is always with the gnome. She's the girl of the four corners at the back of your brain. The 15, the 15, the 15, the 15. The 15. And it's all about Mars and Venus, yin and yang. The yin and the yang. So Jane Birkin, the BJ, she died at 76. I showed you Gainsbourg's house is on Rue de Verneuil, the eye of the snake. And we've now got the head of the snake in Pisces. So JB and check out this person. 
here, so the BJ in the middle, and you've got the Mercury, and that's what we've got today. And then I've got the new moon, the 7th of May, so the day that they arrive, we've got moon conjunct Venus. So we've got, I would have had Venus and Mars today for the 5-5, five five, and for the 5-7, five we've got the moon, and then we've got for the new moon, the 8th. The 8th of May, we have got this incredible conjunction of Jupiter, Uranus, Moon, Sun, and Venus. So, Moon, Uranus, Sun, and Venus in Aries, Jupiter in Taurus. So, Jupiter taking this energy, bringing up Pan, Jupiter, Jack, Jack and the Beanstalk. He's taking the energy of the agriculture, the green man. Jupiter, the ruler of Pisces, and Mars, the ruler of Aries in Pisces still, and Mercury just before he enters. Let me just stop my dog moving around. And birthing this new child, the sun and the moon merged. So we had the eclipse in Pisces and now in Aries as Jupiter and Uranus are also beginning a new cycle, which I explain in the last two videos that I've put on Patreon that you can still go and see for free. And I will be putting all this in my newsletter. I'm seriously thinking uh, to do a small fee for a subscription and then everything that I put on Patreon, I can keep and keep doing that 10 hours it takes me to get all that information in my newsletters. Um, yeah, yeah, keeping a small fee on Patreon, a small fee for subscription. Basically, yeah, I'm still confused. Wait for this new moon. I'm looking forward to this new moon. Um, I'm looking forward to this new moon in Aries, but this is a big date. Eight and five makes 13. And so Jupiter, the ruler of where Mars is, they work together, Martin. And we got this semi-square between Pluto and Saturn in the home of Saturn. And then everybody in fire and water and this Earth coming in, Earth herself, Mother Earth herself, Jupiter taking the fertility and, you know, this is they're, they're coming here, the birthing of this child, Mercury, and then Mercury will move into Aries. When does Mercury move into Aries? Mercury moves into Aries. On the 20th, and Jupiter, uh, Uranus moves into Taurus on the, Uranus moves into Taurus on the 24th. That's very significant, on the 24th. So you're 2-4 again now. And Mars enters Aries. on the 6-11, on the 6-11, okay. Okay, so mutual reception going on. Venus, the ruler of Taurus in detriment, bringing up this very aggressive energy. Um, so we had the riots on the May the 1st. We had the riots. We had got all the students in France standing up for Gaza. So it's always this war between Israel, Isra. So Jupiter rules Sagittarius, the universities, the Sorbonne. We've got um, we've got Ceres herself in Sagittarius, making a trine to Jupiter. So this is universities. And we've got this, you know, very stubborn, just like in the May 68. So in May 68, when all the universities revolutioned, that we had this hunter, Theris, was here, but going, moving between um, 
Aquarius and Pisces and now it's moving here so Theros can be you know it's it's this is facing the devil within yourself wherever this planet asteroid is on your chart it's about finding this dark side this devil energy within yourself so that's what this Netflix thing will be about but it, they're giving this energy to the female now the stalker the hunter uh, Diana was killed, the Red Indians in Diana, in Diane, in Dia, N, the splitting of the N. And now we've got this stalker here. So this, this energy of the students. So apparently anybody who um, stood up for Gaza is going to, is going to be thrown out of university. So they're making this separation with the Ra is and the Medusa L L and we've got Jupiter Uranus is they're getting just closer and closer onto the I and the, you know this is all about the stone the Pierre so the Pierre and the Paul the spine the PP, Pierre and Paul, is again, it's just a play on 9966, route to Memphis, 66. It's, it's just getting your yin and your yang right, your Mars and your Venus right, but we are being merged. Um, so, yeah, this is basically... The new god, the upside down purple rain, we've got Venus, we've got Mars, and we've got the birth of Pan. So you, you can see that the purple rain is Saturn, red and blue, magnetic, electric, the red shift, blue shift, the Paddy, Paddington Bear, PB, Ponce Brooks is currently here it's currently here in between so don't forget mainstream astrology has got all this going on here that's why they're coming here but it's not the true date and time the true date and placement is the, you know this is this is this whole mix up this whole mix up of um Where's that picture of Lars? Oh. Okay, that's what I wanted. It was right there. They're coming for their sixth and seventh, and it's right here for mainstream. And mainstream has got the Jupiter Uranus conjunction right on that wand of Merlin as well, exactly where. The president X China, so it's that Asia. Asia is back to Valentine and Cupid, VC, masculine axis of the mutable cross, ending Corona and Victor, feminine axis from CV back to VC. Okay, so the birth of this Mercury child's birth of this mercury child this is the today the five five so today mars and the moon sun and venus and then we've got for the eighth the eighth of may we've got the sun and the moon so yeah and on the seventh we've got the the moon and venus so the moon will have gone from Mars to Venus. It's all about the Mars and Venus. Mars rules Aries. Venus rules Taurus. These guys are being inverted. Libra is being made masculine. And Taurus is, this is the Instagram. This is the Red Bull. This is, it's going to be a big date when we've got, um, when we've got, so on Aldebaran, this 611, we're going to have Mercury. When Mercury is on Al 69, well, there you go. We're going to have Mercury on the PB 69. And can we see that on Stellarium here? 
Ponce Brooks, let's have a look at six, nine. Where will Ponce Brooks be? Where will Ponce Brooks be by that time? There's Ponce Brooks. Ponce Brooks is going to be right on Sirius. It's going to be right on Sirius, keeper of the four corners. So that is going to be a big date. Mercury is normally the moon is exalted. And on that day, we'll have Mercury, we'll have the Sun and the Venus. Sun and Venus conjunct and Uranus and Jupiter, both in Taurus, Mercury, Sun, Venus. And by that time, Mars, uh, Mars will just still be, will still be in Pisces. Okay. Okay, darlings, um, this is just to help fill you in. And uh, I'm going to just keep, I'll probably do a written rundown for the week for Patreon tomorrow. I'm playing around and by the end of this month, I would have worked out how I'm going to be working between YouTube and Patreon and all this. I find it exhausting. And, you know, as you know, I'm dealing with my dog uh, with his leg. So it is healing. But and, and that's honey snoring, um, as you can hear. So it's been a difficult month, um, but I know I'm going to come through and everything will be better but this changing period has been very difficult for me you know all of us born with this jupiter uranus conjunction i'm born with jupiter in leo retrograde but talking to um talking to pluto and uranus and then those born six months after me they've got jupiter pluto and uranus all in virgo uh, and I've got just that last pullback between the both. So, you know, we we had that energy of where this stalker is now with the Pluto, Uranus and um, and Jupiter in where where in the place of where so Therius. Arius 55. So we have that energy of Jupiter and Uranus here. And we've got this. Um, now, why did they not put it in here again for me? I've wanted. Look, Therius is 32, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's number 32 as well, like Germain. So show the chart. So there, Therius is here now, where all our generation X68, we've got our Pluto, Uranus and Jupiter. We've got, and we are born with Therius opposites. And now we've got this going on for this conjunction. We've got the south node, the tail, in Virgo and Therius, and we've even got Juno in Leo at the moment, and Black Lilith. I mean, that you can't get more of a powerful whore of Babylon with these asteroids and the tail and the Mercury, the ruler of Virgo, on the conjunct to the tail of the snake in detriment and fall. Yeah. Okay, so we've covered enough for now. I'm completely um you know i'm free for readings i've just got a few bookings here and there so um please come along and have a look at all the different readings i do i'm really enjoying i've been doing lots lots of tarot transitions and um they're very powerful readings as all of you know who've had them because we do basically see what's happening and that's where I, I, what I enjoy the most, I, I find it difficult to come out and talk to everybody. It's like in the days, the seven years I was an English teacher in France, I like one-to-one. -one. I taught in the University of Compiègne. I didn't like in front of the groups. I like 
dealing, just being with one person. And that's what I like in my readings. It's a big thing for me to come and make videos and come and come out to you all when what I really do is I'm, you know, I'm a mystic astrologer. I'm psychic. I'm that's why I like to go deep in my readings with you. OK, my darlings, all my love have uh you know this is an intense time so be gentle on yourself i love you very much bye for now